lovelies. So today I was going to talk to you about my day, going to the post office, but I don't know. It just really feels strongly on my heart that I need to talk to you guys, like you watching this, you, you watching this video right now. I need to talk to you and I need to tell you some things about you. And I had a long time to think about this when I was ill and I did not know what was going on and I was miserable and I had a lot of stuff laid on my heart and I'm going to talk to you about some things. I want you to know that you are important. You are here on this earth for a purpose. You are not just nothing that's taking up space or air or just a filler. You are important. Um, you can just be, just be you. If whether you're in bed or you're running around with five jobs, if you have kids, if you're single, if you have, you're divorced, if you're widowed, you can just be that. You can just be you. Just be present and that's enough. That's, that's enough. You don't have to be anything more than you are at this very moment. Um, you don't have to work to be successful in life. You are a success. Just because you are here breathing and living and that you woke up this morning means you're a success. You are getting through this life and it's hard and there are challenges and there are struggles for every single person, but you are successful because you are still running this race and you are still present no matter what your circumstances whether you're depressed whether you don't want to be here anymore you still are successful just doing that um your suffering means something you aren't just suffering for no reason your suffering has a purpose it has um um it has a lesson it is part of who you are but it does not define you it is just something that builds upon your character and your life and your struggles and your triumphs are what have gotten to you to this very point that you're at right now and will continue to help you grow and process and you never know what struggle or triumph will actually bring you happiness. Sometimes our biggest struggles bring us happiness and sometimes our biggest triumphs bring us sadness and we never know which is which and we never know one minute to the next what's going to happen with our life. You are far from alone. You may be sitting in your room just like I am by yourself watching this but you are not alone. You always have somebody. You always have someone to talk to, someone that understands you, someone that knows your life. Whether you are a believer or not, you can find, I find it in the Lord. I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior. I talk to God. But you can find that through fellowship with other people. You can find it on YouTube here. You are hearing this message for a reason. Because you needed to hear these words. And I don't know why. I don't ask me why. But you need to hear them. And I am just delivering this message to you. You are brave. You may feel like the smallest, tiniest, weakest person, but you're not. You're so brave. And those who struggle, those who are sick, those who are mentally ill, those who have the biggest stigmas, those who have social anxiety, those that feel like they're ugly or fat or skinny or too this or too that, you are so brave to just be, to just be you. And to be honest and authentic about that and your struggle and your triumphs and just letting that just exist makes you so brave. You are so brave beyond what you'll ever know. You have so much wisdom beyond any years. It doesn't ma matter if you're 13 watching this or 93. You 
have so much wisdom just every moment of your life that you go through and it's so unique and so part of this just parcel that is so one in a bazillion you are just you and just being that is so brave and you are beyond strong and inspiring you just by living your life and doing you I always say like you you be you and I'll be me that is so inspiring to other people I can't tell you how many times I watch a video on YouTube or I talk to somebody or I read a comment and you can just tell that that person is just being themselves being unique and talking about their struggles or talking about their triumphs or talking about their life you know I'm a mother I'm you know I'm I'm I, I don't like books I like to watch the movies it's just any little little tiny personality trait is very inspiring to just see someone that is just doing those little things and sharing that with someone else and I think that it makes you so um light and I think a lot of times uh, most of us feel like we're a burden and we're annoying and we are like suppressing other people by being us and sharing our experience but it's far from the truth you doing that is is so powerful and moving and strong and I just want to encourage that like I just want that to open up more and more and it it is is it gives other people life and it's through these interactions with each other that that we thrive and we really grow and um no matter if you feel like your life is down in the dumps or you feel like you're flying high we're all at this level it doesn't there's no better or worse circumstance because we all have our own paths in life and they're all leading to something and we're all here to help each other and um, learn and grow from each other and um, it matters that you get answers um, don't lose hope in something that is laid on in on your heart that you want to strive for um, or you have a goal or um, you want a diagnosis or you feel like you're not getting what you deserve you deserve it and you don't have to make excuses you don't have to apologize for that you just have to it's just take it you deserve everything in the world and you deserve answers and you deserve a diagnosis and you have to be your own advocate for that and again that's just by being you and just being firm in who you are and believing in yourself you deserve anything and everything that anyone else has um this was really laid on my heart and i just feel like a lot of times i know that i personally struggle with this when i see a friend or something that gets ill I pray that I can get their illness for them because I'm already ill and I deserve the same happiness that anyone else does you deserve so much happiness and so much joy and there is nothing that you can do on this earth that will make you deserve it any less we all sin we all mess up we all make mistakes huge mistakes I have made so many horrible mistakes in my life but I deserve anything that everyone else has and I deserve happiness I deserve peace in my life and you do too you so deserve that you are not branded you are not you do not have a scarlet letter just because you have social anxiety just because you have Addison's just because you lost a child just because you're divorced does not mean you are branded for life that is not your identity your mistakes and your sins are not who you are who you are is what's in your heart and what your beliefs are and the person that you stand up to be 
and nothing can take that away from you. You do not have a stigma attached to you. You are not broken. You are whole and you are what you're supposed to be and where you're supposed to be. Just because you carry something around with you does not mean that it's going to destroy you or your happiness. It does not make anything bad. You are not, um, if you're ill, you are not a drug addict. You are not um, a pill pusher. You're not a doctor bouncer. You're not... Um, someone that's just faking it you are not cr crying out for attention you are not I mean any affirmation I can possibly give you of what you're feeling because of what society might think about you just crush that it's what really you believe in your own mind that matters and sometimes we create that stigma in our own heads and we need to break that not all, not everyone in the world is thinking, oh, just because she's sick and she takes a lot of medicine, she's a drug addict. That's something that you may put, be, be putting on yourself. And a lot of times our regrets and our, um, our shame come from within. And we need to just push that away. And we need to just claim the happiness that we deserve like everybody else. You can create that change. It is so easy. It is not, and I don't mean easy in the sense that it's not going to take a lot of work and progress and change. I mean that it is possible. It is attainable. Some things, I'm never going to be a billionaire. Some things are not possible. But breaking free and not feeling broken is something I can, anyone on this earth can obtain. You can change. And that's what I mean by easy. I don't mean it's not going to be a struggle. It is going to be difficult for some people. But some people, it could be just like for me, I, I still struggle obviously every single day. But when I became Christian and I had a savior, everything changed in my life for me. And that's what I always fall back on when I stray. And I stray all the time. I stray all the time. I have doubts. I push God away. I do all of that. I sin. Um, every, I sin every day, probably. Every day. I'm not probably. I'm just, that was an excuse again. For, I sin every day. But I still come back to my faith and my Savior. And if that's not your, if, you, if that's not your belief, then you have something that you can come back to. And that's yourself. And that is really you know, I'm just going to say what Christ really wants for us. You can take it from whatever belief system you have. But he just, he just wants us to be happy. And the thing is, is that we as human beings make things so freaking complicated. Like, we have to have the best job. We have to have the prettiest wife and husband. We have to have the biggest car and the biggest house. And the honest truth is, is that through the whole Bible, New Testament, once Jesus died for us, he wants us to accept who we are, to just be happy. He wants us to enjoy our lives, to spread that to others, to spread happiness and inspiration and fellowship and just kindness to others and to just be happy. We don't have to work so freaking hard like we think we do to get rid of the shame and to get rid of these regrets and get rid of these this anger he just wants us to break all of those chains and just be happy and just be who we are and i do not mean to say that that is easy i i really don't and i know it's a struggle i know it's hard but it is possible and it is something that you deserve and you can obtain and it's okay that it feels sometimes like a death sentence it it's, it's okay to feel sad and lonely and all of the emotions that we feel sometimes in not feeling those emotions and instead changing them into fears and um, anxieties and worries that's when it creates so much trouble in our life instead of accepting like I am not I'm I have social anxiety I am not great around meeting new people that's okay it's okay that I'm weird and I talk a ton when I meet someone 
I have to stop beating myself up and telling myself in my head, shut up, Emily, shut up, shut up, stop talking. It's okay that I am that way. It is okay that I cannot be completely normal in a social situation. It is okay to just be us and to be weird and nerdy and strange and obsessed with your dog. And I'm naming all traits that I have. It's okay to be that. And I'm just telling you that you are so loved and you are so beautiful and you are so inspiring. You have no idea how much. I just want you to see that in yourself. I want you to forgive yourself. I want you to let yourself just be, just breathe in and release that air and just be you and just be happy. And that is all that you need to be. And just take peace in that. I give you my heart right now. I love you guys so much. I hope that something I said was meant for you because I am talking to you. And I just want to spread that love and message to as many people as I can because I know that it's something I needed it here. And I know that it's something that someone that is watching this video right now needed to hear. And you guys inspire me every day. Every comment I read, I'm going to start crying. But I just, I know how wonderful and beautiful and amazing and interesting and unique you guys all are. For all the weirdest reasons that you would never think. All of the like perfect things about you that you think are so cool. I don't like those parts. I like the like interesting, unique, weird, nerdy, just funny parts about you guys. And I want you guys to embrace that too. And um, I just love you guys so much. And so I just couldn't just talk about my day today. I had to just get a few things off my chest and um i hope you guys are having a pain-free stress-free day i'm sending out x double o's to you guys and as always i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye guys